Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. I got this either as present or I got it on discount, so I did not pay very much money for this and am thus not bitter on account of that. Hearts War Movie Thoughts The you know, one critic notes that it you know the the movie can't figure out if it wants to be, you know, about race, if it wants to be an escape thriller or an, and or escapist thriller, a murder mystery, and yeah, it really that really harms it and the, you know every so often the movie will bring up this idea of escape and an and escape and a given escape plan and then only very close to the end do we realize yes there is a specific you know they are planning an escape very soon and you know they're not quote unquote just trying to escape which by itself, you know, that's it's a good thing that you're rejoining the war effort, but if you're escaping and that means someone else dies, you know, that makes it seem less courageous, but then they're going to destroy this, you know, ammunitions plant. So then we're back to it being very heroic. And, you know, when you know, there, there are these, I suppose you would say that the first one comes fairly far into the movie, so it doesn't, you know, do, do too much in that, but we do have these things where that they very much point to this black man couldn't have killed this white man, you know, which just what is this? To Kill a Mockingbird? That is an amazing movie, but it is, and, and one that needed to be made at its time, especially today, we really should be past that. And the, you know, the, the ending with, you know, one noble sacrifice after another, you know, the, the, Hart tells Lincoln what's really going on, and then Lincoln's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna martyr myself. And then Hart is like, I'm the one who killed him. And then, you know, McNamara comes back and like, no, all of these men just followed orders. And somehow that means that, you know, these dozens of men who were trying to escape are not excuse me, executed for doing so, because, you know, and it just, yeah, it's it's an absolutely preposterous conclusion to the film. And really, the, at the end of the day, and, I, you know, in the review I talk about Bruce Willis' ego affecting the, the movie and his part in it and such you know just when when he like you know grabs heart and you know you know pu pushes him up against the the wall of the the theater I guess it is and like listen to me you know just full Bruce Willis and just yeah the movie, at the end of the day, cannot, and you know, yeah, this is this is in part because it's Bruce Willis and his ego, but it is also in part this thing of, you know, paying tribute to the U.S. military, which, like I said in the review, I appreciate that, and 
again, to briefly go into, you know, what happened in 9-11 was a tragedy and, and, you know, an awful act of terror, but the movie is supposed to be about a racially charged court-martial in a POW camp near the end of World War II. So, it getting into this, you know, and, and the movie really tries to make sure every, you know, everyone's a little bit racist and, you know, the, yeah, but the, or, I suppose, I'm, I'm not sure the, you know, the, the two, I forget his name, but Lincoln's, the, the other, you know, his, his African American, the, the, you know, the two aren't really seen as racist, but then they also do, you know, yeah, there is still, there is some darkness to every character, but, and, and, you know, briefly about the, you know, Bruce Willis character and the, the military tribute, on the commentary track, the, he ends the commentary track by saying, you know, the U.S. military, you are the real heroes, you're out there putting your life on the line, so clearly that was also part of it, and he's, you know, he's not just saying, look at, look at how much of a hero Bruce Willis is, he's saying, look at how much of a hero these military men are, and I'm just going to be presenting to be a military man to prop up my own ego. But, you know, that is clearly part of what they were doing there. But at the end of the day, and I'm not saying I'm saying this, but the movie is basically saying that he is almost flawless. The, the ubermensch, as it were, you know, the, he, the, the, you know, West Point and the, any, anyway, yeah, the whole military career, and he's incredibly smart, he knows the, the court-martial, you know, manual, backwards, forwards and backwards, and, you know, essentially the, the one thing in the whole movie that he does that's wrong is that He's basically, you know, he he is willing to sacrifice this black man. You know, he, he didn't decide that, you know, Bedford was the one who made sure that, you know, the other, yeah, the other black man was killed. So the, the, the one thing in the whole movie that McNamara does that you could say that's, you know, that's not okay, is basically his treatment of, yeah, his, his racism, which, you know, as a briefly quote a critic in my main review, you know, the patriotism and, and heroism excuse all sins, you know, it's true that he he shouldn't be sacrificing someone else, and he certainly shouldn't be sacrificing someone that is already, you know, looked down upon by society. But if he doesn't sacrifice, you know, if they need that distraction, though, they they have to have, uh, you know, and his death will mean that what was it thirty five men make it out and they blow the ammunition plant so you know it's yeah the, the movie just can't handle that he might there might be something that about him that isn't quite okay or that's even wrong and and really when you when you think about it he really should have been able to figure out that the moment that they were gone, you know, yeah, the 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 common visitor would realize that it was done during the trial, and that the trial was to distract, and people, the the people involved in the trial, 
would be killed for, you know, on suspicion of, you know, having been part of the, the escape, that they intentionally distracted the, the Germans. So, the, you know, when he finally, you know, when, when he comes back there at the end, and it's like, you know, oh, he sacrificed, he's willing to sacrifice himself so that nobody else dies, and so that's that's still presume you know the the movie every so often it'll you know try to surprise us and it hopes that we didn't see it coming on repeat viewings it really falls apart because of that the you know that that thing of oh but you know why would a black man have soot or you know shoe polish on his face and and then the 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 other attorney points out, yeah, but you just said that you wanted to hold his face in the mud so there was mud. So, yeah. But the... Yeah. You know, there at the end, he comes back. You know, really, if, if he were completely willing to sacrifice himself and such, he should have just given them orders that they could then follow and not gone into the tunnel at all and then stayed in his barracks and then when they did the count he would then stand and say I'm why they're gone so you should only you know nobody but me that's left in the camp knew about this so you should only execute me but yeah and the You know, another one of the really big problems with the film is that near the end you realize that the whole trial was just a distraction. The you know the the what was actually going on was they needed something to to distract the Germans while they you know, went through the tunnel and then blew up the ammunition plant. So the movie is suddenly, you know, it's it seemed to be about this trial, this railroading of a black man, and then we find out the that whole thing was just a ruse. And yes, this it's very likely that this black man is going to be punished for something he didn't do, but yeah, the movie is no longer really about that, and it didn't, you know, it, it's pretended to be about that, and seemed to be about that, and then, yeah, it reveals that if, if it was going to be about the escape and the mission, then that should have been much more focused on instead and yeah it it ends up with it quote unquote almost not being about race at all you know it, it at the end of the day the the trial might have as well have been a white man on trial for killing another white man and it would still have worked as a distraction really the, you know, ultimately the only racist thing about the the trial and what McNamara is doing is that, you know, it is a, yeah, that, that he's letting a black man take the fall rather than, you know, it, it would be completely different if he let, you know, a, a white man take the fall, which is, of course, yeah, I'm not saying that it would be very easy for him to make it seem as you know it it would it looks a lot like it was Lincoln and yeah the the but you know he could have had one of his men you know say that they did it and describe what McNamara did and say that they were the one who did that. And 
you know, I'm not saying that it's that the events in this are necessarily this kind of microcosm of America, that it's necessarily saying that what happens in this camp is just a, a minor, you know, that's, it's, this is the kind of thing that happens in America all the time, which at first, until you realize what's actually happening, might seem like it's saying it is. You know, the, we have a bunch of Americans that are a lot of racist, you know, back in 1944. And even a uniform doesn't make them respect a black person. And then, you know, Bedford gets this, the, the other black man killed, and Lincoln is the prime murder suspect for, of, of, for the murder of Bedford. You know, for, so far so good, it seems like, well, this could be about America. This, the, the movie could be saying this happened all the time in America in 1944. But then, once it's this thing of, you know, if you, if just, you know, if, if one, this one black man dies, well, thousands will live from the munitions plant being destroyed, maybe millions. You know, although, you know, when, when we watch it and we know that 44, that was pretty close to the end of the war, it's, you know, maybe less, maybe less likely for it to be millions, but nevertheless, and, and certainly they don't know that when they're undertaking the mission, in their eyes, maybe the war will go on for another 10 years. And, yeah, so, in that case, it's basically saying, maybe some black men were unfairly executed but it meant that thousands lived who otherwise wouldn't have. And that's almost, you know, if we are talking about what, what really happened in, you know, in America between when the, yeah, primary, some still happening today, but especially after the Emancipation Proclamation and before, like, you know, the Civil Rights Movement and such. In reality, it was that what conservatives were, you know, the, the briefly, the positions would be that us liberals would say, well, you can't let any, anybody be you know, unfairly executed just because they belong to a group you don't like, while well, the conservatives would say, but if we don't do that, thousands would die who otherwise wouldn't. And in reality, it's not, it's, it's more that conservatives would, you know, in, in the, the case of the, the Klan and, and lynchings in general, we're talking literally they would physically grab and you know torture and kill black people but also just through just also through legislation and through supporting the you know yeah this abuse conservatives would lead to not necessarily the I I don't offhand remember the the numbers but I don't yeah I, I don't remember how many that you know how many died from lynchings and in general that kind of thing but you know even if you don't count if if you're just talking about suffering and such then what conservatives did led to the suffering of countless non-whites rather than yeah, saving it, and it's, 
yeah, I again, I, I don't know if it's supposed to be a microcosm, but so much of the way it seems like it works as one, and that's where you have a huge problem the moment that we realize what's actually going on. And, you know, the... the And, and really, the movie didn't have to be that, you know, McNamara comes back because, you know, suddenly he realizes he's not going to, you know, yeah, he's not going to let anybody die in his stead. Really, the movie could easily, if, if they wanted him to be a heroic character, and for this, you know, it didn't have to come at the very end, they could have the the moment that he finds out that this black man is going to, you know, be sacrificed for it, the movie could right then and there have had McNamara come to Scott and or Hart and say, I'm the one who did it, but if they don't, you know, if, for, for one thing, we need some kind of distraction so that these 35 men can escape, and for another, these 35 men might need me to be the, you know, the one who leads them so that, you know, because I'm the one who knows all the details of the plan or something, and then maybe there could have been, you know, they the three of them could together have worked something out, although I suppose if if Lincoln starts helping out, it, it might approach the, the magical African-American character trope, but I'm not sure that wouldn't be at least a little bit better. And really the, the you know, in, in addition to the the trial and all the ways that this part of the thing is that these black characters are defined almost entirely by their race it's I realize that they wouldn't be accepted by most white men that you know Hart is the outlier that yeah that that society in general didn't accept African Americans, even servicemen back then, as opposed to now, where it's at least somewhat less. Yeah, it's it's considerably less, but there's still too much. And anyway, the basically the 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 role of the two black men is that they are the the targets of all this hatred and so they can they can talk about the hatred they faced and we see it in action and we see that they are holding their head high that they're not you know they refuse to just let you know be be turned into just slaves again but ultimately they you know I, I suppose the you know the other black guy doesn't you know you you could say he's he's not alive and on screen for that long so he couldn't necessarily have but Lincoln does almost nothing things are done to him and it's this thing of, you know, we, we have this, we have the, the one, you know, really well-meaning, you know, the, the liberal heart. And he's trying to, he's fighting against the racism of the entire country, you know, all by himself. The only person standing, excuse me, at the side of this black man. But, yeah, the, the one time that... Lincoln actually does, and I suppose you could say he he goes out to try to, you know, 
not kill, but, you know, abuse Bedford, but, you know, that doesn't really, if he, I, I suppose it, it makes it more likely that people blame him, but if no one had been found near the bo body, you know, the, the, the framing of the, the other one, the other black guy, was also really, you know, loose and based on very little. But the, yeah, basically the, the one thing that he does is try to martyr himself. Try, you know, he, when, when he's told what he'd be dying for, he basically accepts that and says, well, I'm, I'm willing to die for that. And that basically means, you know, that, that means that that changes absolutely nothing. If Hart hadn't told him before that scene that that was the idea, then, it, you know, Lincoln wouldn't really have done anything different. So basically, yeah, the one thing he does is, you know, incriminate himself, which, again, just leads to things being done to him not you know where where he hardly ever does anything himself and you know if, if you're just if a character could be replaced with an inanimate object then you might as well because the if the, the moment you put a character in a piece of fiction that character and, and give them time, you know, I'm not talking about background, but if, if you focus on them for any length of time, they should get to do something, to have some kind of impact, even, even a minor one, but, you know, in, in this case, and that's often the case with racially charged, you know, stories, it's just that things are being done to them, and they're kind of, they're there to show that, yeah, you know, it's also, it's, it's more comforting and comfortable for racists if when they see a black guy on trial who didn't do it, if the only thing he does is, you know, he's, he's really innocent, again, it's the, it's the Portier thing, Sidney Portier thing. Really, for, for all that he does, you know, the, the two of them might as well just have been like clothes that they, you know, it might as well have just been black people clothing. And so, you know, oh, you shouldn't treat this black people clothing this badly. And, you know, at the end they see that, oh, well, they also did something, good. you know. You could, you could remove the, the whole racism thing from the story and a lot of it would play out the same way. It doesn't end up with the the racism thing having added that much. It seems like it's going to, but then there at the end, it it doesn't really, you know, I'm, it's not entirely clear how many people know that it wasn't, you know, I, I forget, I'm not sure we ever get an, an actual count of how many are in the camp total, but 35 men, you know, go under the wire. It's quite possible that at least a majority of them know and they realize that that's why, you know, anyone who doesn't know, then there's some chance that they might try to kill Lincoln by themselves to get revenge for Bedford. And if that happens, then, you know, I suppose that's just a different trial then, but nevertheless, it's it would be easier if they knew, you know, it's it's okay, this black guy's gonna go down and we're gonna be able to escape. So yeah. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.